Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the sufficient conditions for the existence of a Laplace transform. So, first let us look at the statement of the theorem. If a function f of t is sectionally continuous, in each finite sub interval of the interval 0 less than or equal to t less than or equal to n that is in this finite interval the function f of t is sectionally continuous that is in each of the sub intervals of this interval the function f of t is continuous and for all values of time t greater than n if the function f of t is of exponential order as defined in a previous video then the Laplace transform exists for all values of s greater than gamma. So, this is the sufficient condition for existence of Laplace transform for a function f of t. Now, let us look at the proof. For any positive n that is n greater than 0, we can write the Laplace transform f of t the Laplace transform of a function f of t that is integral 0 to infinity e power minus st f of t dt. So, for any value of n greater than 0, we can write this integral as a sum of integral 0 to n e power minus st f of t dt plus integral n to infinity e power minus st f of t dt. And since the function f of t is sectionally continuous for t less than n that is in this interval 0 to n this integral is always this integral is always finite that is the integral converges and thus exists and now we have to verify under what conditions this integral basically has a finite value. So, now we have to find whether this integral n to infinity e power minus st f of t dt converges that is it exists that is it has a finite value. So, for any integral the absolute value of the integral e power minus st f of t dt the absolute value of this integral is obviously less than or equal to integral of the absolute value. And, since, and for all real values of s, this should be, this in, integral of this absolute value should be equal to integral n to infinity e power minus st absolute value of f of t dt. And this is less than or equal to 0 to infinity e power minus st f of t, the absolute value of f of t dt. Because we are basically adding a constant to this integral. So, it is always less than this integral from 0 to infinity. Now, by using the definition of a function of exponential order that is f of t absolute value of f of t is less than m times e power gamma t. So, by using this definition we can write that we can write that this is less than or equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus st m into e power gamma t dt and this value is definitely equal to m times 1 by s minus gamma for all values of s greater than gamma. That is when our s minus gamma is positive, this integral is equal to m by s minus gamma. Therefore, the sufficient condition for existence of the Laplace transform for a function f of t is clearly s greater than gamma. Therefore, the theorem is proved. Thanks for watching.